So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 specifically. We're going to be looking at the 30th anniversary. I said I was going to talk about this instead of waiting for it just because once once the once the actual activity stuff is here, I might as well just talk about it when I'm playing it. But this is going to be critiquing the 30th anniversary because I think people need to look at it uh, a little bit more deep because it's a little shady what they're trying to do. So a lot of people are just going to be like, oh, well, what do you mean? It's like, it's pretty cool. We get all, so much stuff and all this other stuff. But the thing that I'm kind of like not liking is the fact that Galahorn and two other weapons. I'm pretty sure there's more than just three weapons, which is essentially Galahorn, uh, 1000 yard stare and Ice Luna. I'm pretty sure it's more than just those three. Might never know. But specifically, Bungie is in a really weird spot where they're fucked if it's good, they're fucked if it's bad. So if Galahorn, Ice Luna, and 1000 Yard Stare comes back and they're like godly, and I mean like fucking PvP meta, Galahorn is back to being like six stack, Galahorn must have that. If you're not, you're not joining the raid. Then people are immediately gonna bitch about so many things. A, oh my god, now it's now it's pay to win because now I have to buy this separate thing in order to actually be viable at endgame for Galahorn. Uh, that goes for Eyes Luna and 1000 Yard Stare if they're good in like Trials of Osiris or just in anything. Uh, that goes with the, all the other weapons as well if there's more than three weapons. There's also the case that they're selling like three ornaments, three armor ornaments in Eververse or in uh, in the 30th anniversary. You get the thorn one, which you get from through the dungeon. And then the two other ones, the, the casual one and the marathon one, I think it's called. And then obviously you get other stuff like I think emotes, uh, Sparrow, which looks pretty cool. But my main concern is the fact that not only were you paying to get weapons that we used to have in Destiny 1 back, which don't even try to say it. Well, this is the only way. Don't you want it back? I personally did not want Galahorn to come back. I thought it would be cool if it did, but real realistically, I don't want it to come back. Let it let it live in its legend. Like let it have its legend status still intact because I hate what they did with Nighthawk because I hate what they did to a bunch of the old weapons from D1 when they brought it back and armor as well. Some weapons and armor are just like shadows of their former self. I'm looking at grasp, uh, the Grasp of Ahankara for the Hunters. Like there's a lot that goes into that, but my main, my main, my main issue is the fact that not only do we have to pay for this $25 for this 30th anniversary, even though personally for me would have been really cool if Bungie was like, help us celebrate the 30th anniversary. Here's a bunch of cool shit that we were just giving to you guys because we appreciate you guys. You guys are the customers that has helped us reach this level. Instead, it's like 30, it's like 24 99, 25 bucks. Give us 25 bucks and you'll get access to all this other shit. I don't know. For me, it just seems kind of grimy. Uh, at the end of the day, whatever. That's just me personally. But my main focus is the fact that if Gallahorn comes back as good as it was in D1, some might say broken. I probably would agree. If it comes back that strong, then we're going back to the days of six stack Gallahorns. If you don't have it, don't even try to don't even try to get in. I, I, I laugh because I used to have to suffer through that. So I don't want to see that happen again. And it, they're fucked if it's not even good because then it's like, well, now it's it's a it's a shitty weapon. It's like it's shitty. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine getting Galahorn and it being really bad? I can't imagine it because I've already went through it once. I don't want to go through it again. And you might be wondering once uh, it, when I Rise of Iron came out, they did nerf uh, Galahorn. They gave it back to us, but it was not as good as it was before. And I don't want to see that a second time or uh, yeah, a second time like. I already saw that happen with Whisper of the Worm. That really fucking angered me. That's actually one of the first videos I did on my channel. And I just don't want to see like more of my beloved weapons from Legend just be nerfed more and more. Like just let them live in their Legend status. Let me just remember that weapon with rose tinted glasses instead of losing it and be like, wow, this is really shitty. Uh, but what I think is going to happen most likely is the fact that 
Ice Luna and 1000 yards there is going to come back strong as fuck. They're going to come back and they're going to be the meta. I, I, I hands down, hands down would put money on this that Ice Luna specifically is going to come back meta as fuck. Uh, just because that gun was so beloved in Destiny 1 and for them not to do it justice would be crazy. It would be, it would be more crazy than to make Galahorn as strong as it was because at least Galahorn, I would understand if they like nerfed it to, to the ground. I'd be like, I understand it because Galahorn was really that fucking powerful back then. Like it would destroy everything. That's how powerful Galahorn was. I is Luna though. If you, if you fuck that one up, bro, you we need to fight and my hands are already up so that's how i feel about it i mean the dungeon kind of really does irk me as well uh the fact that this dungeon is locked behind this really does bother me too i knew i know people are gonna say well at least we're getting a six player activity like that's cool but i mean there's there's more things to that like are we getting weapons and armor in that are we getting like really cool stuff in there because it says new secrets to unravel and collectible rewards that commemorate our lion story history whatever the fuck that means so i'm hoping that at least the free activity has like i need at least one armor set and at least like three weapons like maybe but i highly doubt it even though from the actual picture itself if this is the armor i mean I highly doubt this is the armor because I see a lot of stuff that I'm like, ah, uh, that's like specifically the Titan armor. A lot of that is from year one of vanilla destiny two. So or, I don't even know why I say it like that, but vanilla destiny two, um, I don't even see a warlock in here. So like this can't even be used to like gauge like, oh, this is the armor or not. Cause each class is wearing something different. Like the hunter right here is wearing something completely different to the hunter over here. And then Titan as well. These two are completely different. So at this point, I don't even know if this is like a specific thing or not. The new dungeon sounds really cool. It's definitely cool. But I, at the end of the day, making like charging us for this feels kind of scummy. I get it. Like, I don't I don't want to come across as like I wanted everything free. It's more of a just like, bro, it's the 30th anniversary and you're making us pay for this when like we made we made you what you are today is kind of like where my head goes. Uh, but yeah, iconic weapons, armor ornaments, emotes, sparrows, ghost shells, and more. This collection represents 30 years of Bungie and legendary community and a birthday party that can only happen in Destiny. So we already know that we're, we're getting something Halo related. It's super small. Don't get me wrong. One of the armor sets for the hunt for the Titan actually has, uh, I don't know what the gun's called, but it's from Halo. Um, that's pretty cool. But other than that, I mean, whatever, if I'm being quite honest, the armor looks dope. I can't wait to get the armor for sure. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to temper my expectations and wait and see if anything that they bring in this 30th anniversary is going to be busted or not, because $25 for all of this is cool. But again, just leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If, uh, let me know your thoughts if you guys think this is cool, if this is like something that you're not really that bothered by. Am I the only one bothered that? Probably, honestly, if I'm being honest, probably me and like a few other people, but I don't know. It's just, it's really hard to judge this type of shit when I remember how like Eververse was in Destiny 1, how it first started to not like where it is now. And now we're having to like pay for dungeons. And I'm just like, wow, bro, like what the fuck? So be safe and I'll see you guys later.